Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy, and this is a timeless reading, so this is for whenever you feel drawn to hear this message. Also, this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. All right, so we're going to get a crystal card. We have some tarot, some clarifiers, and then close out with an oracle. All right, so this one flipped over. This one, and then I saw this this one here caught my eye. Maybe because I'm wearing the same color. <laughs> All right, so let's go with these two. We have rose quartz, which that is this right here. All right. Love, nurture, romance. Calling in unconditional love. Rose quartz invokes a gentle yet powerful feminine energy that nurtures and protects your heart. It can be used to attract new romance and, build, and to build closer bonds in your relationships. Rose quartz opens the heart chakra and heals heartache, grief, and any unexpressed emotions. It asks that you show yourself compassion, forgiveness, and acceptance. Rose quartz also inspires beauty in all forms. Open your heart to the beauty within you. Taurus, Libra, Venus. And then we have this one. And that one is purple tourmaline, grounding, protection, serenity. Purple tourmaline gets straight to the heart of the matter, which is kind of funny because that's a heart. <laughs> um, dispelling any negativity around core wounds, especially issues carried over from past lives. Purple tourmaline is a great protector and can create a shield between you and the a and alien invasion, possession, and unwanted attachments. It removes illusion so you can see reality for what it is without any judgment that is where serenity and peace lie when we are able to detach from external views ground yourself with love and trust that you are always protected libra venus mars so these are both libra and venus all right so let's get some tarot that one four of swords Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, King of Wands, the Sun, the Battle Wagon, Eight of Swords, and King of Pentacles. And I feel like one more, Three of Pentacles. I feel like the Sun card is coming out a lot lately for Capricorn, which is a good thing and I like that. All right, so for overall energy, we have the King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, okay? We have the King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is somebody who works hard, somebody who's patient, somebody who is very good with business. Um, Three of Pentacles is obviously work, so working, so maybe there's a business that you're starting or a new venture or something that has to do with money so it's like time to get down to work time to focus and time to or maybe there's something that you have an idea with because in uh current energies we have the seven of cups and she's kind of sitting there thinking about things right she's got a lot on her mind she has a lot to think about and she's trying to decide what she wants to do and we have four of swords here where he's kind of relaxing underneath the tree and he's just kind of Thinking, I feel like it's thinking, thinking about what it is that you want to do. Um, we also have the Six of Pentacles, and this one here, she is handing out coins, and there's the lady that is giving her flowers back, but then there's the man here who is holding things behind his back, and that's about deciding where do you want to put your energies, where, which direction do you want to go, and what do you want to focus on. So it may be that you have a lot of ideas, because that's what Seven of Cups is, ideas about business ideas about um, finances and maybe you are trying to decide what it is that you want to do what direction you want to go in we have ace of cups aces are new beginnings and this has to do with emotions so I feel like it almost starts a new feeling within you because you're excited about starting something new and that's always exciting right 
Um, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming because you're like, oh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing and you kind of feel overwhelmed by the whole thing and you're like, oh, I'm not really sure what to do, but it's also exciting. There also could be a new relationship that's coming in, maybe somebody that sparked your interest, but it's something that you're kind of taking your time with and you're deciding, mm, do I want to spend time with this person or do I not? All right, for future energies, we have the King of Wands, the Sun, the Battle Wagon, and the Eight of Swords. The Battle Wagon is the Chariot. Um, the King of Wands is somebody who's very wise, somebody who's very knowledgeable, and he's kind of sitting there in his chair and he's kind of um, thinking about things. I feel like this whole reading is don't rush into anything, especially with the Four of Swords, and then you have the King of Wands right behind that, and it's kind of taking your time to think about something. There may be a decision or a choice that you have to make about something, and it's about taking your time before you um, answer it before you move forward and make sure that you are feeling that you're you're positive and you're you're happy with your decision and when the time is right then you'll make your decision not rushing into anything I just feel like this is it could be again about a new business that you may be starting that you're looking into a new project maybe it is moving up within your current company moving to a different position but it's something that you want to take your time with and really think about before you make that decision because you don't want to rush into anything and you don't want to just say yes and then you get into it and then you don't like it and then you're like oh no now I've created an even bigger mess so how am I gonna get past this how am I gonna get through this right and you're like, if I had just taken my time, could be a relationship, it could be a friendship, it could be a um, family member, it could be a relationship that you're reconnecting with and you're like, mm, I'm not really sure, I'm not going to push this, I'm not going to rush into this because I don't want to make the wrong decision and I want to make sure that I'm comfortable with the direction that I'm going in, right? Oh, look at that perfect, the hermit. Thinking about things, that's what I feel like this, this reading is, is taking that time to make sure that whatever you decide with this situation or however that relates to you that you're confident in your decision that you want to do before you move forward and again that gives you that for that gives you that confidence that yeah I made the right decision no matter what happens I feel like I made the right decision we have the five of of Pentacles and I feel like that's again you you have to make this decision on by yourself you can ask your friends about um, their opinions if you want to, um, but I feel like it's something that you have to decide on your own because it's affecting you, right? High Priestess listening to that inner voice about this decision about what you want to do, whether it's moving forward with a relationship or a business or you know, within your company or whatever this is, maybe it's a move, maybe you want to move you know to a different area or whatever this decision is that this is something that you have to be comfortable with before you act on it right before you, before you move ahead um, look at that nine of cups right next to the Sun card so very exciting like being happy like that big he has that big smile and it's right next to the Sun card coming into that positive energy feeling um, feeling happy with your decision. All right. Page of, page of cups. And again, feeling emotionally confident in the decision that you're making and not rushing and doing it when the time is right. It may take you longer than you were thinking, right? But we have the tens, which are completions. Maybe this is something that you've been thinking about for a while that you've been wanting to do. And so now you're finally Finally, like, okay, I'm going to act on this. I'm going to start pursuing this. I'm going to start researching it. Like if it's a new business or a new company, you start researching it. You look, start looking into it, seeing how what other people have done and what, what they feel like, oh, I wish I had done this differently. And so sometimes when we research and we get all that information, it makes us feel more confident with our decision. It's kind of just instead of having all of this stuff floating around in our head where we become overwhelmed, that when we can narrow it down and write things down and see things on paper and sort things out and make lists and negatives and positives and then we're able to see, okay, I feel more confident because I've gotten all of this stuff out of my head and I'm feeling like now I'm confident in my decision. 
now I'm not being overwhelmed with all of this in my head. I can see it on paper and I can sort through it and I feel better in my decision, all right? Better in my decision. Look at that. Two of Swords is about looking at both sides, all sides of a situation. It's about not rushing into a situation and it's also about waiting until you're ready. So I just feel like it's ready, waiting until you're ready, waiting until you feel confident and not letting other people pressure you into an answer and not feeling hurried or rushed. And this is something that you have to make on your own. Um, grounding, I was just looking at this purple tourmaline, the grounding, like grounding, feeling confident in your decision because this is something that's very important to you, right? Because we have the Nine of Cups and the Sun card. This is something that's very important to you. And I also feel like with the um, King of Wands, it's some, something that you'll learn a lot from, that you'll grow a lot from, from that, that it really almost moves you to the next level. So this is something that you definitely don't want to rush into. Um, so let's close out with an animal oracle card. So we're any day here today. That's okay. And get a lot of work done. <laughs> All right, we have Swan Spirit. Look, and it's the same color. I kind of feel like this is kind of the theme today, right? <laughs> um, Swan Spirit. Time for a deep dive. And I feel like that goes with the Hermit card, you know. Time for a deep dive to look within and find those answers and those decisions and what is the best path for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.